Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to talk about ICX flash recovery today. So let's say that someone has erased your primary and secondary flash or the flash has been corrupted or somebody uploaded um, you know, corrupted files. Those should check themselves, by the way. They should CRC check themselves and if, if they're not valid. But if it was in the middle of a flash write and somebody you know, reloaded the box or, or uh, you know, who knows what, but uh, how do we recover those? So the first thing we want to do is go into boot monitor. Um, and so the way that works is when the system starts to boot up, you're just going to hit B to go to boot monitor, and then it's going to put you in this very limited uh, uh, code set, right? And so all the devices have boot code on them. Um, of course, if your flash is corrupt, then you won't need to hit B to go to boot monitor because it'll just, you know, put itself into boot monitor because it can't boot a flash. Um, so, assuming we get here, the first thing we need to do is print the environment. We need to know, know what the environment variables look like because we're going to need to set some of those environment variables uh, in order to get us up and running. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the IP address in this box. I'm going to set the default gateway. Uh, I'm going to set the subnet mask, I'm going to set the image file name, and then I'm going to boot the switch off of my TFTP server, and once it's booted off the TFTP server, then it's a full running code, and I can just, you know, copy um, new code from the, from the USB drive, or copy code from a TFTP server, or, or however I want to do it. But the important thing is to get it up and running on a version of code. Now, there's also a way of just uploading code from the TFTP server onto the box through this boot monitor, but I don't want to do that. I want to get it up and running on the version of code that I'm going to run eventually, um, make sure that it's solid, then copy that into the flash again. So, and then I have all the commands available to me and all the different uh, ways to, to copy flash files, etc. So, if I look at my, my print environment here, this is factory default, right? So, um, it's, there's an IP address in here, there's a server IP, which is going to be my TFTP server, there's going to be the subnet mask, um, there's going to be a, a boot name, a uh, boot file, if you will, uh, image name, uh, and a version, uh, that version is the boot file in a version, so, which is what I'm currently running. So what I'm going to do is I need to set a few things. Uh, if you want to see what the available commands are, uh, you could do a help here or a question mark, and it will tell you what all the things are, so you can, you know, you can power cycle, you can reset, etc. Uh, TFTP boot, which is what you're going to see in a minute. Um, so there's several things in here, but for now, what we need to do is we're going to set uh, environment, uh, and then we need to set an IP address, IP adder uh, 192.168.1.175. I don't know, we will set environment variable for uh, my mask, so that's going to be net mask uh, 255, 255, 255.0. Um, set, if you need to set a default gateway, in my case I don't, but we'll set one anyway, just so you can see uh, how to do that. So it's gateway IP 192.168.1.1. Then we need to set, um, let's see, we'll set a server IP. So this is going to be my TFTP server. So set environment, um, it is going to be server uh, IP, and that is going to be 192.168.1.18. Excuse me, typo. And lastly, um, I need to set, oh yeah, I need to set my image name. So, set environment, it's uh, image underscore name, and then in my case, SPS 08060a.bin. So, this is the file that I'm going to boot from TFTP, right? So, lastly, I save my environment. So I've set my IP address to 192.168.1.175. I set my subnet mask. I set my default gateway. I set the TFTP server address, uh, and I set the image name. Okay. So 
if I uh, if I print my environment again, I should see all those updated, right? So then the last thing I need to do is just, um, if you go back and look at the help here, the last thing we want to do is we're going to do a, a TFTP boot command. And so unfortunately, TFTP boot doesn't have any parameters after it, so I couldn't specify the image name or the TFTP server, etc. It's just TFTP boot. Okay, so the system is now finished booting. Uh, and so now uh, I have, you know, I can enable, now I have a full running version of uh, 8060A. So now I have all the regular commands available to me. So at this point, I would just do a, a you know, copy TFTP flash or, or you know, copy dis zero to flash or however I'm, I'm trying to do it uh, and, and, you know, copy the files into the, into the proper flash partitions and then reload from there. Um, but that's it for, for flash recovery. So fairly simple, uh, just a little tricky the first time you do it. So um, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time. Take care.